It is Section Hockey Championship Week in Minnesota. Tonight from the Furniture and Things Community Event Center in Elk River, the Section 5 AA Championship game between the Maple Grove Crimson and the Rogers Royal. Hello and welcome to Elk River. John Jacobson along with Dan Ficken. Dan, a rematch from the 2022 final. Maple Grove won that night 4-2 on the way to a runner-up finish in the state tournament. Heck of a hockey game though. A boy went back and forth and stuff and we get a chance to come back to this beautiful arena, this furniture and things place. It's just fabulous. But we also get to see two hockey, Mr. Hockey finalists, two excellent hockey teams. These teams played twice during the regular season. Rogers won the uh, the second one. They tied the teams tied the first time around in Maple Grove. So this year the Royals won 0 and 1 against the Crimson. What the Crimson can bank on is they've got that experience, right? That championship pedigree. They've won this section in the last three years. Well, that experience goes a long way. They knew know what to do, and there's a little burr in their saddle about that championship game. Let me tell you, they want to get back there in the worst way. So I expect a really big time effort from them, and uh, we'll see what happens with them. Been a terrific season for Rogers. They're looking for their first state tournament appearance in program history. Let's look now at our key players. Two of the three Mr. Hockey finalists that are playing in this game. We'll begin with Maple Grove's Finn Brink, who's had a terrific season again. Well, I'm tremendously glad you started with Finn because he's going to be a Badger, and I'm happy about that. But, boy, has he been a player this year, man. He's got a lot of points, a lot of assists. Makes his teammates better. It only took Dan two and a half minutes to work the University of Wisconsin into the broadcast, so that's a record, maybe. <laughs> the longest he's gone. And on the uh, Rogers side, uh, Sam Ronaldo's had a great year, a terrific senior leader for this Royals team. Hey, this kid's speed, man. He is raw, he is fast. Skip on, and Maple Grove's bigger, and they want to do some hitting, but you got to catch him before you can hit him, and he's going to be real hard to do that. But you can see 57 points. He's really the stir that, uh, or straw that stirs the drink for them. This is one of five section finals in Class 2A tonight. The winner here goes to St. Paul next week in the XL Center. We'll take time out. We'll drop the puck live on CCX, the Section 5 Championship. Rogers and Maple Grove next. was 52 weeks ago tonight. The section final between Maple Grove and Rogers with the Crimson winning 4-2 to capture the 5AA championship their third straight. We're live in Elk River. John Jacobson, Dan Ficken, Jay Wilcox along with us as well. He'll have ringside interview with the coaches and post game sound with the winners. Rogers really an up and coming program there in their second straight section final never been to state the state tournament and really in a good place under head coach Dave Brown really had a great season too, tied for the top of the lead in the conference we we're just a great hockey team there's our goalies tonight Jack Roach first year as a varsity starter 16 5 and 1 goals against 2.15 Kate Chapman played in this game a year ago 16 6 and 3 this year his goals against 2.31. We are underway in the great section hockey. Happy to have you along here tonight on CCX. Shot fired in on net and an early save for Cade Chapman, just nine seconds in. Not a lot of sweat given off on that save, but right. we got the uh, the one and two section seeds here in the game, which is kind of, you know, looks like they did with the pick the right ones. 
Jack Kernan who had a hat trick the other night for Maple Grove taking the face off there controlled by Rogers pushed up the left wing for Matt Loman but kept in by Maple Grove now back behind his net is Jackson Smith that wants in front of the goal it's Finn Brink and Maple Grove is on the board 23 seconds in it's one nothing Crimson Oh boy, the one thing Coach Brown of the Rogers Royals did not want to happen is to start chasing right away. The Maple Grove striking quick in the first minute here, or first two minutes, yeah, first minute of the game. Ben Brink coming around the front, knocks a move right here. And he never quit, he stayed on his rebound, got a second shot, shelved it up into the right-hand corner, but nice pick right there, and he never quit on it. Brink unassisted. Scoring his 29th of the season, 63rd of his career. And Maple Grove up one to nothing in the first 30 seconds of the hockey game. Now Sam Ronaldo fires a shot on that. Jack Roach the save. Still controlled by Rogers. Around the boards comes out of the zone. Rogers has to reset out at center. Dawson Jensen will shoot it back in. Picked up by Grant Leno. Leno in the corner. Up the wing and then out to center ice. The pass missing Lucas Bush and recovered by the Royals back in their own end. Stretch pass off the skate at uh, the stick of Rinaldi. Offside on uh, Rogers and gonna face off back down in the Royals end. How about that for that young man? A way to start tonight to give this uh, Crimson team an early lead. He's had a heck of a year, heck of a career. Gonna move forward to college playing Division I hockey. A number of kids on this rink right now are going to go play Division One hockey. These are two fine teams. Andrew Parko is facing off with Carson Udy, controlled by the Royals, and out they come to center ice. Puck slides off the stick and then picked up by Joey Leaflat, who shoots it down into the Rogers end. Back behind his net goes Chase Cheslock. He's another Mr. Hockey finalist, great defenseman for the Royals, number 18. All the way down to the Crimson Zone. The collision back behind the net. Puck is loose to the left corner and then controlled by the Crimson. Hot on the Julie Leafblad stick. He takes a big hit at center ice from Keaton Weiss. Puck going down to the Royals end. Rogers with the hockey puck and they shoot it from center right on net. Roach makes the save on the shot from center from Nolan Gurness. Uh, kind of looking at this game as a game between speed, the Rogers Royals, and a little more physical power between the Crimson, but well, Rogers came out right away and put a body down fast. They're not going to back down at all. Carson Belquist, Jack Kernan on the faceoff here. One by Maple Grove, then turned over by the Crimson. Belquist centers it out in front. If Grove able to take it away, Brink getting it out of the zone. Rogers will skate down it back in their own end. And Loman up the center and fired back in by the Crimson by Connor Stelgis. Up it comes to center. Stelgis will shoot it back into the Royals' end. Yeah, experienced team like Maple Grove too. You can't be doing unforced turnovers like that. Long passes that don't connect. Uh, they got to keep control of the puck here because the more Maple Grove has it, the more likely they have to score. Here's Ronaldo trying to center it, gets deflected, but does get all the way across to Mason Jensen. Play there, Brink got knocked down. Royals, as Dan mentioned, playing some physical hockey early on. Turnover at center ice. Yeah. Steenerson tried to drag it across, and they are offside. Couldn't quite wait one of those legs back over. A good, good opportunity here by Rogers. Right there, nice save. Roach is on his game so far. He got tested early. I just love those pictures of the goalies down with the jersey showing all the puck marks on him. Right. <laughs> we'll drop it again here. We're now against Ty Patefield. Patefield sweeps the puck into the Rogers zone. Out of the stick there of Dawson Jensen. And the icing on Rogers. Just on the pass at center ice. Well, this uh, this lineup is becoming quite a rival. We get a chance to see Todd Bergman, right in Maple Grove coach. Got him state last year, state championship game. 
And uh, they want to go back for some reason. I, I don't understand at all, but nice guy. Good program, very steady and consistent. And that's the last three years. Now Rogers trying to clear their zone. It gets past Ronaldo at center and then swept in by Patefield into the Royal Zone. Pass across to Odin Eliasson to the blue line. We're kept in by Maple Grove. Here's a shot. Patefield fires it wide. Comes back out to the left point. Back to Canato there. Reflected and then Bush can't keep it on his stick and Maple Grove's got to come back out to center. They'll reset. Rent, uh, Luke Margado playing it up through center as Maple Grove makes a change. Getting the puck down into the Royals end. On to Ronaldo's stick again. Now off the right side, they will come up the center of the rink. Passes on his right side. Return pass, and Ronaldo gets it on goal, and Roach makes the save. Yeah, Roach is just magnetized on Ronaldo there. He knew exactly what he can do, and good position to make that save. Got the pass across to Parker Deshane, and got it back to Ronaldo, and Roach makes the stop on it. Deshane, who had the was the savior for Rodgers the other night. He scored two goals in the last four and a half minutes to save them from being upset by Centennial in the section semifinals. As you look at the stop by Roach a moment ago. A face off back into the Rodgers end. Played not even five minutes, one nothing. Maple Grove on the Finn Brink goal 23 seconds into the game. If you joined us late, that's what you missed. Don't tune in on time, for it. <laughs> You'll never know what's going to happen. Oh. Turnover for Rogers and they get it back. Almost an opportunity in the slot there for Brink again. Brink gets it back on his stick along the boards and lost it back out to center. Here comes Rogers, Chedlock. Brink wide pass, nobody there in a white jersey. Here comes Maple Grove. Here comes Jay Ellingson. Ellingson in the middle. Oh, shot nice. gets blocked. A good block on the shot from Owen Smith. Rogers on the rush. Keaton Weiss oh, just missed on the pass to Curtis. Kept it at the blue line by Eliasson. Back behind the Maple Grove net. Swept along the boards. Bush's pass oh. gets picked off. Turnover by Maple Grove. Then they get it back. And they get it out of the zone. Along the boards and recovered at the blue line by Eliasson of Rogers. He'll slide it across for Smith next. Up ahead on the left side to Loman. Lost it. Steenerson trying to bring it in on the right side. Rogers gets it back. They bank it out to center and swept in to the Maple Grove zone. Go chase it there. Margano gets there first for Maple Grove. Up they come. Here comes Patefield with a chance for Maple Grove. One player back and it picked off his stick nicely by the All-Stater Cheslock. Cheslock gets it back. Skates to the blue line, falls down on his own there. And Maple Grove gets the puck. Here's Steenerson coming in. Oh. Drags it back. Steenerson walking in. Oh, and a big stop. Oh, almost made it 2 0 there on Kate Chapman. Sometimes that height, that big size of six footer, gets a little narrow there in front of that net. But nice move. It was a great move right there. Kept control. And he got a shot off. When you look at Maple Grove, John, you've seen a lot of tall trees out there. They got six six footers on this team. Brink fanning on the shot from the top of the circle, but does keep the puck in the zone. Drops it off on his right. Return pass. Backhand shot from the circle. That gets stopped. And back comes Ronaldo for Rogers. Centering pass out in front. Good pick off and clear out by Leno out to center. And down to the Rogers line. Onto the stick of Jensen. Dawson Jensen fires a shot. Roach the same rebound given up. And the shot and Roach makes another stop. That was a save. That was a tremendous save by Roach. He was completely out of position. Down. He got himself back up and over to stop the shot. Right here. Oh, just stretched out beautifully. That's how you do it. Payfield and Deshane on the draw, one by Rogers. Allo sweeping it to the corner. Centering attempt gets blocked. That's Connor Stelgis. And out he comes, taking the short pass, and he'll dump it into the Rogers end. Back behind Chapman. Picked up by Gertis. 
Curtis lost it, centered out in front. Rogers will clear it back out. They miss on the pass to Ronaldo. They've no icing though on Rogers. Maple Grove controls. Here comes Margano, avoids contact at his blue line. Up across on the left side, then took a check from Olsen to get him out of the play. Cleared out of the zone. Margano with it at center for the Crimson, then lost it. Here's Keaton Weiss from Rogers, turns, passes, shot, rolls the same rebound, makes another stop, and then covers up. Oh, he stopped Weiss, and then Karsten Udy to keep Maple Grove in the lead. Oh, smoking. Unbelievable Roach just he came ready to play tonight and he got tested right from the get go my gosh made some tremendous saves look at the movement there first of all you get that this situation just stayed right on it nice wraparound pass there coach already with eight saves in the first not even nine minutes of play tonight Rogers coming back. Curtis up through center ice on the pass to Mason Jensen. Buck lost in the circle. Back out. Curtis trying to put it on net. Gets stopped before it gets there by Leno. Out to center. Back onto Curtis's stick. He'll hesitate and then get it into the Maple Grove end. Cleared by Smith to the blue line and out comes Maple Grove. Imgrin. Carries in deep on the left side now. Joey Imgrim lost it. Taken away and a good play from Cheslock. Here comes Cheslock steaming through on the left side. Takes a bump there off the play by Leno. Maple Grove back the other way. Joey Leapflad shooting it down to the Rogers end. Here comes Smith neck for Rogers. Across the blue line, shot away and Roach the save. Well, so far, that's the story right there. Number one, he's really been on it for the Crimson. They got the opening goal, but boy, they're really getting pushed. Here's a look at Dave Brown, fourth season. They were a losing team before he took over. He's uh, coached them well, helps to have some talent too, as any coach yeah. will tell you, but he's done a terrific job, former assistant under Pat O'Leary at Wyzetta. Uh, at center ice is Kernan for Maple Grove. Kernan with a shot, oh, off the Piper behind Chapman at least. Lost in the circle, Rogers almost gave it up, and now they gain control again. Peyton Stroop. Passes off. Oh, then it's intercepted. And Rogers able to keep it in, and then they shoot it out of play. Well, Rogers had the better of it during the year with one win and one tie against the Crimson here. And that played them very, very well. Again, they were both fighting for the conference uh, title here. Rogers has come on, and they look like, John, they are going to be a factor over the next four or five years here. These were the top two seeds last year. And again, last year, Rogers was the one Maple Grove of the two. So same scenario here in 2023. Shot didn't get all the way through this time to Roach. Piccinato trying to free himself up. Got it to the blue line, but not out. That one gets blocked from the circle. Still lose. Rogers a shot. Roach got a piece of it. And now it's Maple Grove that controls. They get it out of the zone, out to center. Pass ahead onto the stick of Ellingson, trying to drag it through Ellingson in front, and lost it right as he came through. The crease got knocked oh. down. We're going to have a penalty coming up here on Nolan Gertis of Rogers. As soon as they touch it, our first penalty of the night. Oh, well, that's going to be a little upsetting. Coach Brown not happy about that one. You know, we had a, it's different watching games. Last night we did the section final in the Dyna and uh, uh, Wyzetta, I believe, and, and Boy, I'll tell you what, the referee just put the whistles away. That that one could have gone either way. I don't know if I would have called that one, but I can sit up here and question. <laughs> I ain't got the stripe through it on. Maple Grove this year, 44% on the power play. And Rogers is killing him off at about an 87% pace, so this is strength against strength. Comes at 9.07 of the first. The Grove will work the perimeter with the passes. Bush with it. Down low, Sarian will went past Steenerson and out of the zone. Only chased down by Margano. <laughs> Margano at center. He'll bring it in right side. What a beautiful move by Margano there. Stops. Now the pass going behind the net to Brink. 
Burrow patient here. Penalty time still. Minute 20 gets past Margato. Race for the puck between he and uh, Parker to Shane. Maple Grove recovers though, and they bring it right back in the zone. Kernan with it. Argano with a shot that went off the skate of Smithnack, the defenseman, put out in front, and Rogers gets a hold of it, and they clear it down the length of the ice. And that deflection could have been dangerous. They went wider than that, but that could have gone very easily on the net. Deflection by the Rogers defense. 50 seconds left in the man advantage. Here's Kernan down the right side with a shot. That's blocked by Eliason. Rogers. Gains control of the puck and they'll shoot it down again. 35 seconds left in the power play. Stelgis passing it off on his left. Here comes Ellingson down the wing. Jay Ellingson centers it out in front of Sunday goal. What a beautiful setup and a beautiful goal. And it's 2 0 Crimson, a power play marker. Joey Imbrin scores. And the Crimson are up two. But the assist pass, the assist pass was what made the goal. Oh my gosh. Right on the stick, coming back through. And he just came in and buried it. Great effort on his part, too. Look at that pass. Look at that effort. Gee. Well, we talked to Coach Berglund. He said that the Crimson are ready to play. They had a good outing in their last game. And uh, they're starting to show it right now. Up two zip here. Seventh. Goal of the season, seventh goal of his career to make it two to nothing. And then we get back to what you talked about a few minutes ago, Dan. What Coach Brown said, we can't get down <laughs> two goals early. We can't chase all night like we did against Centennial oh, the other night. Or if we do, we've got to figure it out. Oh, here's the deal. The Maple Grove goalie's got nine shutouts this year. That That is almost unheard of for a high school hockey season. So they're going to have a tough time scoring goals, and Mr. Roach already has shown some of his little expertise too for us. Here's the number of wins for Jack Roach. Remember, uh, back up a year ago, got one career win uh, last season, but uh, he's their number one guy this year. Amgren getting congratulations all around on the bench. Well, he's come in with a 913 save percentage, which is. Very, very good, which says Maple Grove can play some defense here. And it all starts in the pipes. Well, Rogers, you know, as much as they've gotten some good shots on goal, they, they gotta settle down now. You don't oh. certainly don't can't get behind three-nothing in this one. Well, now you gotta take a shift in the time and a goal in time. Don't worry, it's two-nothing. Make sure it's zero-zero and you get have one get the next goal. Okay. Maple Grove getting it out to center ice. We're down to five and a half minutes to play in the first period. Steenerson gains control. Lost it. And Rogers has it back behind the net. And out they come. Parker to Shane. He'll bring it in on the right side. Shane still with it. Couldn't get a shot away. Well played. Carcos will take away for Maple Grove. Steenerson will bank it out to center. This will come just wide of that icing on Maple Grove. Well, we have the opportunity. We're going to take, thank both the Maple Grove and Rogers Hockey Booster Clubs for helping us defer the cost for Region 5 AA's live fee for our live broadcast tonight. So uh, special thanks to them, Eric Kukadin and Sarah Weiss, the Booster Club presidents, giving it the green light. And so we thank them and wow. all the people in both communities who are watching tonight. And I know there are a lot of them. Yes, there are. Puck comes all the way down. Brink trying to get to it does, but didn't get much on the shot. Cheslock got back into the play enough to affect it. Rogers to come back. Two on two. Maybe a three on two here. Fight across the middle, but Cheslock couldn't control it. And it's cleared out by Kernan. Rolling pucks are dangerous. Comes back toward the net, but cleared away by Chapman. Out it comes to center. Brought in on the left side through his skates by Melquist. And it comes back out to center as Maple Grove able to clear the zone. Stelgis in his own end for the Crimson. He gets knocked down oh. from behind. And that'll bring a penalty. Oof. That could, well, I don't know. I shouldn't guess. It could bring a five minute. It could. He's still down on one knee. He's kind of trying to get his marbles back together again. He 
The head took the shot here, John, on the boards. If you notice when he goes down, boom. Boy, thank God for good hockey equipment. Pace and Strook will go off here. Well, now we'll see if we're going to get a five minute major here. They're, they're talking about it. Yes, they are. We're talking about things going wrong right from the get go for the Royals. It's just been a nightmare. I think it's just going to be two because Todd yeah. Berglund's arguing his case here. It's going to be a cross check, a two minute penalty. Still a power play for Maple Grove, but I think he. He could make the case. You could make the case that it could have been five on Struck as it is. He'll go off for for two minutes here at 12:45 of the first. I remember a section game we did a number of years ago. Blaine, yes, they got a major and got scored on four times yeah. during the major. Got game it. Game is over. Right. Yeah, against a good Blaine team that ended up as a double digit win for Maple Grove tonight. That was their first trip to state. I remember that at the Coliseum. Yep. 2012. So Maple Grove see if they can take advantage though. Of this power play. Well as we said before both have excellent specialty teams with penalty kill and power play. And uh, boy, right now Maple Grove they, they could really put a dagger in right now. At the left point. They keep it in, and they do. Right across the slot. Steenerson a shot on the big golf save made by Kate Chapman. Steenerson's had a good year. Recently committed to the University of Vermont. 17 goal season for him. Going to be a catamount. Got it. Yeah. Good and nice shot here from him. Big, big, tall, rangy guy, but that was early good. Chapman was right on it. He was just above his circle. Got right angle on it. Just handled it. No sweat. Margano hands it off to Brink. Back to Margano. To Brink. And across to Bush. Down low. Kernan back to Bush on the wall. Kernan is on the yep. circle. A shot. And that one just missed the mark by Brink. I just picked that top corner. Just going to say watch out for that back door here. They set that up really nice. Three minutes to go in the period. 45 seconds to go in the power play. Steenerson lost it in the slot and cleared out, out of the zone down the ice by Melquist. Out of 35 seconds left in the man advantage for Maple Grove. Kernan's pass and it comes up to center ice. Steenerson bring it in on the left side. Takes down his players, both he and Elias, and go down. Back to Steenerson, shot away. That gets blocked. Comes back out. Stell just moves in, shot, and the save by Chapman. Nice setup, nice shot. I like Steenerson coming in, you know, being about six foot three. Being a former defense was kind of fun knocking down those big guys. You were never six three, though, Dan. Not even close, <laughs> man. I got under their waist belt, for heaven's sakes. But see a good setup and shot there by. Maple Grove and, and a chance to set up one more time here. 14 seconds left in the power play, but Rogers quickly takes care of that as they ice the puck. So they'll kill off this penalty as Ronaldo on the penalty kill tries to go after it. Stelgis gets it around the boards. And the Royals are back at full strength. Nice move by Ellingson. Get around Stroop. Drop pass to Imgren, the goal scorer a few minutes ago for Maple Grove. Imgren will go after it again. Back behind the net. Goes down with uh, DeShane taking him out of the play. Centering pass. Comes back out. Right slot in. Or Leafblad with a shot that gets picked off. And Rogers has it. Rink wide pass across to center ice. Into the crimson zone. Shot away. Roach the save. Gives up the rebound. Ronaldo from a tough angle put it back on net. Centering attempt again. Ronaldo gets down and he's going to. Draw a penalty here, and Rogers will go on the power play. Boy, right now with a minute 37 left, that's a good break for Rogers right now. They need something. They've been on their heels ever since this period started. And finally got a call, so their power play can get 
Get on board and running. They're running at about 27%, John, on their power play, which is a little bit better than, than good. Ricanato going off for the penalties. You look at it again. Hmm. And so we'll see what Rogers can do here in the final two minutes of the first period with the extra attacker on. Ronaldo back out in the high slot. Back to Ronaldo, top of the circle, shot. That gets blocked by Leno. Smith neck on the stick back out, right point. Ronaldo, oh, just missed. And that back to a pass for the Royals. Good puck work here by the Royals. Back out it comes to Chase Lock. Behind the net to the left boards. Back out. Cheslock with a shot. Rose to save. He saw it all the way. Boy, nice puck movement and rotation jam by the Royals here on their power play. Looking really good, creating some good opportunities, but you got to get somebody in front of Roach. You're not going to get a point shot that's going to beat him unless you really nail it. Scrum off the face off and Maple Grove able to clear it down. 45 seconds left. Here in the period. Rogers would love to beat the buzzer and get one here to yes. make it a two to one game. Cheslock feeding it off to his left. Back out, left side. Here's Ronaldo, shot away, missed the net. Kept him, right side by Mason Jensen. On to Cheslock stick. Back to Jensen in the circle. And on a pass now, does get it across to Ronaldo. Back out, chest lock high, shot blocked by Steenerson. Shot from the circle on that missed the net, and it comes out of the zone. Under 10 seconds to play in the period. Steenerson trying to get to it. Ronaldo with a pass that misses to Shane. No. Stelgis gives it up right in front. A shot and a save by Roach as the clock expires and the end of the first period. Oh, give me a little conversation with Mr. <laughs> Stelgis after that little play by God. By God, but. Boy, good period for the Crimson. They came out there intense. I think they want a trip back to St. Paul, John. They're playing really well. Good first period for them. Roach with the save and the loose puck, and Maple Grove able to get to the period break here. We'll take a timeout. We'll hear from Jay Wilcox along with uh, Rogers head coach Steve Brown in a moment. We continue with live coverage of 5 AA hockey on CCX. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is now available on Roku and Apple TV. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including daily newscasts and full sporting events. To find the app, go to the store and search CCX and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. Now available on Roku and Apple TV. Welcome back here to Elk River, a 2-0 lead for Maple Grove after one period here in the Section 5AA Boys Hockey Championship. Dave Brown, the Rogers coach, joins us. And before the game, you were saying this is what you didn't want to see happen, them get out to an early lead. But how did you feel overall about that period? Yeah, that, that was a huge kill for us there to, to keep it at 2-0. And, you know, we scored five goals off rebounds the first time we played, and those are still out there. You're just going to have to find those and battle back, and it's a good thing Tuesday night we proved we can do that because on the bench right now that's definitely what they're leaning on. You guys in the middle part of the period I thought started to really play pretty well get some chances I mean do you see the opportunities for that to continue to? Yeah if, if we continue to win those loose pucks and play with the puck our speed will continue to be out there it's just we, we have to make sure that we're, we're finding six in front of the net they're really good at finding the open guy right in front and you know, 27 made a great play on a sophomore playing his first section championship on their first goal. And you just have to respond. And I think we have the leadership to do that. And, you know, fortunately, if you're chasing two, you want to chase for two periods. So 
They got one on the power play. You guys got a power play at the end of the first. How important is staying out of the box going to be really for both teams? Yeah, we're going to have to keep our composure from here on out. Their, their power play is good. Our power play is good. Um, their power play got one, and, and we have a little bit left on our clock, and we're going to be fresh on fresh ice, and maybe we can generate some momentum right out of the gate and, and get the first one to go, which would be huge for us. But if, if you come out and you win the second in, in any way, just win the second period, you, you put yourself in position to win a hockey game. Dave, thanks for joining us. Good luck the rest of the way here. Awesome, thank you. All right, Dave Brown, the head coach of the Rogers Royals, his team trailing Maple Grove here 2-0 after one period in the Section 5 AA Boys Hockey Championship. More to come here on CCX Sports. Great battle and a jam-packed crowd here in Elk River. John Jacobson, Dan Ficken, and Jay Wilcox back in Elk River, where after one period of play, Maple Grove, the number two seed, leads number one seed, Rogers, by a score of two to nothing. Each of these teams with a win, obviously, earlier this week. The section semifinals taking place at Fogarty Ice Arena, the first semifinal, Centennial and Rogers. Centennial, much like Maple Grove tonight, gets up on Rogers early and actually led by a couple goals going into the third, Dan, and before Rogers was able to rally and come back and, and finally win it. Parker Duchesne scoring twice in the last uh, five minutes of play, including the game winner with 20 seconds left to go. Right there. And that uh, gave Rogers the win over Centennial. That was the first semifinal. And then the second one featuring Maple Grove and Champlain Park. And Rebel scored early midway through the first period before Maple Grove tied it at the end of the first. And then they really took off from there. After that first goal they gave up, they scored the next six in the game. Two in the uh, second, three more in the third. Champlain Park got one at the end to make the final six to two. Kernan with the hat trick in the semifinals. And that leads us to tonight. And you look at the bracket, Rogers and Maple Grove both with easy wins in the quarterfinal round. Centennial and Champlain Park, the other quarterfinal round winners and the championship game here tonight. One of four section championships in class, one of five rather, section championships going on in class 2A tonight. But if you look at those those semis there in, in this particular section, you know, both teams were down that one and they just kept battling back. So I'm looking at the score tonight, two to nothing. That don't mean nothing right, right. now. There's a lot of hockey to be played yet and both teams will fight back. They're both very good hockey teams. We'll take another time out. We'll come back and look at first period highlights from this one. And then the second period of play, Maple Grove Rogers, 5 to play hockey on CCX. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is now available on Roku and Apple TV. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including daily newscasts and full sporting events. To find the app, go to the store and search CCX and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. Now available on Roku and Apple TV. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button, and from there, choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. We're back in Elk River Furniture and Things Community Event Center. 
the Section 5 AA Boys Hockey Championship for 2023. Maple Grove leading Rogers by a score of two to nothing. So look at the history of this section going back the last decade or so. And Maple Grove, we've mentioned, is one of the last three section titles. Dan, they won mm -hmm. the first one that we're going to look at 2012 and Centennial a couple of years. Uh, Blaine, Anoka back in 2016, then back to Maple Grove, Centennial and Blaine, and then the last three, Maple Grove. And you mentioned uh, Rogers, the up-and-coming team. They want to post their name on that scoreboard uh, tonight, hopefully, right? Well, yeah, they want that first <laughs> right. trip to state tournament. You know, doggone, that's a big, big thing here. And this community really has gotten behind this program. They built a powerful program. They've got good skaters. And they got more coming because their youth teams are really good this year. So I would expect the next four or five years they are going to be a contender. Yeah, just their second year in the section. So uh, they've got uh, a lot of hockey to come yet tonight and in years to come, as Dan mentioned. As I mentioned, there are other section finals going on tonight across uh, the state. One double A, it's Lakeville North against Lakeville South. Lakeville South, the big favorite of that one, North. An upset winner in the semifinals to get to the championship game. They trailed the Cougars 1-0 after one period. Chanhassen and Minnetonka. Chanhassen trying to get the state for the first time in school history. They're tied up 0-0 after one. The Skippers, the number one team in the state. And over to last year's state champions up in Duluth tonight at Amsoil Arena. Tied up with Duluth East 0-0 after one. And Moorhead. We saw back at the beginning of the season, yes. Dan, in the Turkey Trot Tournament, leading Rozo 2 0 after one in the Section 8 AA final. Two section championship games played last night. Dan mentioned the Dinah and Wyzetta, the 2 1 game you saw in CCX, and Creighton Durham Hall winning in Section 3 AA, defeating St. Thomas Academy 4 2. And then tomorrow night <laughs> is the lone uh, section final yet to be played, Gentry Academy against Hill Murray. Can we say controversial yeah, well. <laughs> on that situation? But um, I tell you, that should be a really good good hockey game here. It's good to see some of the old faces, see some new plays. Duluth East, Andover, obviously, but Chan Hassan's Chan coming Hassan, in. Yeah. Minnetonk hasn't been there for a while. Right. Been and, about five uh, years for them. Yeah. Creighton Durham Hall. Be a good one. So it's shaping up to be a good, diverse state tournament right now. And I know that. You know, both these teams want to get there, especially the Crimson after last year's results. Absolutely, uh, right. Yeah, got to the championship game and then lost to Andover in overtime. The Section AA tournament, or State AA tournament, excuse me, begins Thursday at XL Center. And the Class A quarterfinals Wednesday, also in St. Paul. A lot of time on the clock in the intermissions here tonight. We've got people to feed at the concession stands, Dan. <laughs> so we'll take another break. <laughs> we'll come back. We'll give you some highlights from the uh, first period and then more hockey on the way on CCX. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is now available on Roku and Apple TV. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including daily newscasts and full sporting events. To find the app, go to the store and search CCX and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. Now available on Roku and Apple TV. Maple Grove 2, Rogers nothing. First intermission here in Elk River, Section 5 AA Boys Hockey Live tonight on CCX. The Maple Grove, as we look at some highlights from the uh, first period, did not take long to score. Dan Finn Brink, the senior, gets the takeaway in the first 30 seconds. He scores at 23 seconds. Put Maple Grove on the board. Unassisted goal. Gets Maple Grove the early jump. 
That was persistence and just beautifully played. Good block by the D in front there for Maple Grove. D has been good. Jack Roach has been outstanding in the first period. 13 saves for the senior. Steenerson with a nice pull through here. And a nice save by Kate Chapman, who kept it at that point 1-0. And oh. great off save by uh, Roach. Gave it one nothing. Another opportunity there, and Roach coming up big on a couple of stops on those chances from Carson Udy. And then uh, Maple Grove gets a second one. A great set of Jay Ellingson back. Joey Ingram flying through the air and gets the goal like Bobby Orr back in 1970, flying through the air, Dan. The horizontal goal. <laughs> yeah, flying the through it. Two nothing. <laughs> shots on goal, 13-11 in favor of Rogers. Maple Grove with the edge and scoring chances. That was pretty easy, even. And two penalties against Rogers, one of them uh, resulting in a power play goal. And then Maple Grove taking a penalty late in the period. And Rogers will come back with 26 seconds left in their power play when we start period number three. So if you're Rogers, Dan, what do you want to see from your club coming out? I mean, obviously, if, let's say you don't score on the power play. What, what do you want to see in the first five minutes? A goal, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> duh. But the methodology of getting a goal yeah. is get some pucks on net. Don't overstretch yourself. There's plenty of time in this game. Take it one shot at a time. But you know my pet peeve, John. If you're going to shoot the puck, put it on the net right. and make it worth the effort. And you know? if you're Maple Grove? You keep playing the way you're playing. They yeah. have done a great job. They control the puck very well. They have good flow of movement. And uh, they got a goalie in there named Roach who's just been great in the first period. We are under a minute on the clock when we'll come back with the second period of play. Maple Grove Rogers hockey continues after this. CCX Media is the first place you go for local news and sports. But did you know you can sign up for those stories to go straight to your inbox on our website? Simply go to ccxmedia.org. Click on the subscribe button, and from there, choose which notifications you want to receive. Then we'll send your favorite CCX Media news, sports, and city events straight to your inbox. Sign up now at ccxmedia.org. Teams are back on the ice. Jen Kernan almost took a spill into his own <laughs> bench there as we get ready for the start of the second period here in Elk River. John Jacobson, Dan Ficken, and Jay Wilcox on hand for tonight's section championship. Thanks to all of you watching tonight around the uh, Rogers and Maple Grove communities and around the country who have been able to join us on our live stream. Well, we've got a little Rogers power play coming up here to start the second. Not much as you look at the uh, goal scorers, Brink and Imgren. And uh, some penalty time left. 26 seconds to be exact for Beck Piccinato. Puck is dropped. We are underway in the second period. And Brink will fire it down the length of the ice. It's always tough when you get that short part of the uh, power play and you come back out. You yep. lose that draw and you've lost most of that uh, Extra advantage that you have with the, uh, the power play off of Ronaldo's stick. No, he gets a shot. He scores. He picks it in, and then it's a power play goal. It's two to one. I thought he had lost it for a moment. It's just right out in front of his stick, and Ronaldo, the Mr. Hockey finalist, buries it. And it's a two to one game. And actually, John, the muff, that hesitation, I think, took Roach off his lineup, and it fooled him. He was a half second too quick versus, you know, being right on it. But boy, they needed, Rogers needed that one bad. And the star, the star that stirs the drink got it for him. A senior with his 23rd goal of the season to make it 2-1. to one. Oh. Just a blinding shot. Nice play, got his head up, knew where he was putting it, put it right up in the upper shelf. So much like Maple Grove to start the hockey game, Rogers gets one early here in the second. See if that gives them a little jump. Each team now with a power play goal. I'm hearing a lot more noise from the crowd to our right here, John. Shoot it into the Maple Grove zone, and the Crimson clear it back out. Brink with it for Maple Grove. Up through center ice. Beats it up to Kernan. Kernan trying to drag it through as it picked off. 
And cleared out to center. Smith able to keep it away at center from Loman. And shot back into the Royal Zone. Shot, Roach to save, knocked down in front, picked off by Steenerson. Back he comes from Maple Grove. Into the Rogers zone, shot away, save made by Chapman. He's back out to the blue line to Patefield. Patefield able to keep it in. Not lost as he got bumped off the puck. It's taken by Eliasson. Up to center, and the rink wide pass just off the stick there. Bob Weiss. Back out left point. Rogers shot gets tipped. Backhander from the circle blocked by Stelgis. Bush over skates it. Rogers has it. Drop pass. Shot away. Roach. Love say it. Might have been going wide, but he loves it and hangs on. One rule of a goalie, Joan. Thou shalt not take any chances. Right. Even if it's close. Face that, off back down to the Maple Grove Ems. That game. goal for Rogers was huge. I mean, the way Roach was playing, I tell you, they came out with a lot of jump in the first period. He made save after save, and it just kind of took the guts out of him a little bit. 58 points on the season now for Ronaldo. Oh, he can't play. <laughs> he can't play at all. Oh, my gosh. You know, this is when your leaders have got to step up to the plate, and Sam Ronaldo certainly is the leader on this team and did a nice job. So they're back in the middle of this thing. Ronaldo with it, puts it out in front. It's deflected back behind the net, and Ronaldo knocked off the puck. Oh. Vernon lost it, and almost buried there on the chance of the turnover shot Ooh. here, and that goes just wide. Rogers buzzing right now. Smith neck puts it back behind the net onto DeShane's stick. Behind the goal, Ronaldo with it again. Around the boards, but nobody there for Rogers. Picked up and cleared out on the zone by Smith. Fired back in wide of Roach. Smith will get to it first for Maple Grove. Gets it up to center. Taken there by Cheslock. Ahead of Ronaldo. Played away from him. Along the wall. Ellingson up to center ice. Trying to hit Brink with a pass. Missed and it's icing. Had a good idea there, but the timing was a little bit off. Well, we'll see what kind of a response now we get from the Crimson after getting a kind of a shocker here in the first minute of the second period. Rogers let him know we ain't going away. We're staying right here in front of your face. Maple Grove winning face off, getting the puck out to center. Patefield feeds it off to Steenerson, his shot. Let's watch Steenerson centering pass and from they uh, score. Wow. Buried into the back of the net by Lucas Bush, and it's a two goal lead again for the Crimson at three to one. And again, a beautiful pass out front that just simply got back quick enough. Shot got shot quick enough. And it, it, it beat Chapman to, to the spot here. Just a good response by the Crimson. Well, you got your answer, Dan. How will Maple Grove respond? And yeah, Lucas sure did. Bush gets the goal. Great setup by Blake Steenerson. Right there. Everybody thought he was going to go around the net. Before he did it, he got rid of the puck. Gets a shot. Picks up his rebound. And puts it away. And there's a lesson for you. Follow your rebound. Follow your rebound. Bush's 14th goal of the season. Steenerson picks up his 26th assist of the year. Steenerson with a takeaway here. Got caught up with the linesman at center. And taken back by, by Rogers and skated into the Maple Grove end. Walk around the boards to get a whistle. Now face off here with uh, under 13 and a half minutes to go in the second period. So I think for Maple Grove, that gets them settled down a little bit too, right? I mean, he had the lead, but now it's back to a two goal lead. Yeah. Not that you're you're gripping the stick, but you've got a little more breathing room, right? You're like, okay, we're back on track again. Well, the important thing is you just send a message like, okay, so what you scored, we can still score too, so we're not worried about you. Imgren with the takeaway, but nobody there in Crimson Jersey to help him out. Back up Rogers into the zone. Parker to Shane, still with a nice poke mm -hmm. 
by Picanato to take it away. Right. Here comes Maple Grove with a two-on-one. Brink with Ellingson. Ellingson with it. Back to Brink. He oh. scores! It's four to one, Crimson. Finn Brink is second of the night. I'm delighted. I'm delighted, John. Finn Brink, what a great play. I mean, there's, there's nothing that the goalie could have done about that. Dave Chapman was just out, man, with two beautiful plays by the Crimson here, coming back and storming, showing that, uh, boy, they got some skill on this team. Brink is second tonight, 25th of the season. And it's a four to one game. Great setup by Ellingson, too. Jay Ellingson, the senior, which is ninth assist of the year. Back it comes on a Brink stick again. It's a three on two across, but this one goes behind Ellingson. Go behind the net. Back on to Brink stick. He'll fire it on net. Deflected wide. Leaf flat crashing in. Sends it off for Kernan, trying to put it back toward the front of the net. Nice job by Julie Leafline to briefly keep it back in, but then Rogers gets it out yeah. and lost it. Here's Imgrin into the zone. Imgrin with a shot, and he fires it high off the glass. Leafland spins Cheslock around. It comes out back to the Maple Grove line. Margano with it. Tipped ahead by Leafland into the Rogers zone. And it comes to center. Loose puck there. Gathered up by Steenerson. He'll push it off to his left, trying to take the return pass there from Joey Imgren. Rogers intercepts. Here comes to Shane. Spins away from traffic. To Shane now with a shot. They get blocked in front. Ronaldo trying to feed it off there for Mason Jensen. Back out to the blue line. Chest lock. It's a good job to keep it in at the right point. Feeds it back behind the net to Ronaldo. Got bumped off the puck there by Stelgis. He plays it to the board. Back behind the net, Ronaldo. Some contact from Stelgis. Takeaway there for Maple Grove by Margado. No icing here. It's Chapman will leave it back behind his net. Out to center ice. And now comes Rogers into the zone with Loman. Following up, a pad save by Roach and a big stop he makes. Wow. On the chance there for Carson Melquist. That was a quality opportunity for Rogers. Well, we're getting a response from the Rogers Royals, John. Nice shift that time. Really got some opportunities there. But look at his pass. Finn Prince is going, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm enjoying this. Boy, he's been something this year, hasn't he? He's had a great season here. 30th goal of the year. Not a bad season, right? 30 goals, 37 assists for him. Kernan waited for the puck and then lost it. Rogers steps in, takes advantage of the opportunity there. Carried into the zone by Struck. Put it out in the circle. And he can go with a takeaway. Get a penalty here. Well, it's like a holding penalty on the Crimson. Rogers will get a power play opportunity. Well, good break for the, the Royals here. They get an opportunity to go on the power play and kind of close this gap. Four to one looks a little ugly right now. I'll tell you what, they get it back to a two goal game. It'll make a lot of difference here. Beck Picanato going in here. 6.18, the time of the penalty. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, Rogers on the power play. Ronaldo shot, Rose to save, gave up a rebound, but Curtin able to clear it. Kernan, can he get to the puck ahead of Cheslock? He can't. We'll face it off oh, here at center right. ice. And a player's helmet come off is the reason for the, the whistle as Chase Cheslock lost his lid, now has it back. Well, I wish we had helmets like that when I was playing. Just adjust it quick and it tightens up on you. Oh, look at the face mask come off. Ouch. Face off win for Maple Grove, then they clear it down the ice. A lot of time left in the power play here for Rogers. Trying to crawl back into this one. Down four to one in the second. Shane trying to pull it through. Back out. 
blue line. Cheslock feeds the cross. Ronaldo stops. Turns back now. Feeding it back off to Cheslock. Right boards and around back behind the net. The Smith net. Maple Grove gets control. And they have it out to Steenerson. At center ice. Steenerson will float it in. Chapman gets a stick on it. Steenerson giving chase, but Cheslock has a stride on him. Cheslock with good speed across the line, trying to drag it through, lost it. Smith trying to clear, can't get to the puck, and controlled again by Cheslock. His shot gets blocked, and Kernan will sweep it back out of the zone for the Crimson. 50 seconds left in the power play for Rogers. Got a nine and a half minutes to play in the second period. Rogers got one early and then two from Maple Grove. Shot on the net here and Roach the save. Back it comes to Ronaldo on the wall. Feeds it to the circle. Shot and a goal. And it's four to two. Mason Jensen, the sophomore. Another power play goal for the Royals. And they're back to within two goals. Well, the shot before that they got was pretty much on the ice. And the second time they got the opportunity here within a few seconds as they went top shelf. And they finally beat Roach. And boy, they needed that one big time. Boy, just sniped it into that corner. Jensen and Ronaldo each with 23 goals now on the season to lead Rodgers. So that two for two, Rodgers on the power play tonight. That was his fourth power play goal of the year. Well, we're back to where we were at the beginning of the period. It's still a two goal margin for Maple Grove. See if that gives Rogers any momentum here. Keaton Weiss got bumped off the puck, lost it. Ellingson drop pass. Kernan drags it through, puts a shot toward the net, deflected in front and not on another play. Boy, the Royals a little lackadaisical there, John, coming out of their own zone. Coughed it up twice. Turnovers. That see what Coach Brown not happy about that. Get a little bit of momentum back. Don't give it back to the other team here. Button down. Melquist and Patefield on the faceoff. By Roger Steenerson. And a muscle the player off the puck. Bush moves in. Played in the corner. Rogers trying to push it up that wing. People go not having anything on it. Bush with it back. Hatefield let it stick on it. And now finally Rogers able to control. Misses the pass at center. And then fired back in. By uh, Maple Grove. Delayed. Yeah I thought that was icing. Yeah. Unless, uh, unless the linesman. I thought he had waved it off. A little discussion here. A little bit of. Where we're going to bring this face off. Yeah, Bergie's making sure it's outside of his zone. Now confer. I would expect a neutral zone face off here. Yeah. John, did an interesting fact here. You remember that little tournament we did at the beginning of the year? The Turkey Trot? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All four teams made section no. finals this year. It's a pretty good tournament, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great Thanksgiving uh, tournament and. Edina's in the state tournament. Wayzata in the section final. Lost to Edina last night. Moorhead and Maple Grove. And we'll do it again next year, Dan. All right. So don't make plans for Thanksgiving weekend. Well, next Thanksgiving day, you're fine. Not Friday and Saturday. I got assurances from Coach Bergman. He ain't leaving. He wants right. to keep playing. In it, so. oh, oh, big check back behind the net. Maple Grove able to clear the puck, though, out to center and dribbles down into the Royal Zone. It comes out to center on the pass. Picanato across. A nose pass off of Steenerson skates. Pass up through center ice off of Stroop. Oh, and then lost by Maple Grove. Chance here for Rogers for Lowman. Lost it trying to recover in the corner. And brought back out by Bush. He'll give it to Steenerson. And some action back behind the play now. Picanato. Slow to get up, and it looks like maybe both he and Loman are going to go here. They should. It was both a mutual feeling of dislike for each other. <laughs> and they were expressing a lot of that physically. here tonight, I think. 
I was interested to hear the coaches talk about this is becoming a rivalry here now. I think Mabel Grove was like, what, what happened? What, why are we getting the penalty here? I'm not arguing that they, they're right. I'm just stating what I see. Ben Brink waiting an explanation that they're, we'll get coincidental minors here. See a little bit on the right side of your screen here. The two getting uh, tangled up in the corner as the play went back up ice. That was a nice uh, wrestling takedown. I was going to say, two-point uh, <laughs> two takedown for a take down. <laughs> So from that point of view, but we, again, we, our camera went away from that. We didn't see if uh, Piccanato did anything in right. retaliation. But uh, there it looked all Loman. I think you should have given him an extra point for pushing him out of the yeah. circle, too. All right, so we'll neutral zone face off. We'll yeah. skate five on five here. And we continue on with a four to two hockey game. Rogers, the number one seed. Maple Grove, the two seed. This was the final a year ago when these teams played in the section final, four to two. Take away for Rogers, shot, and it fired wide on the net. Oh, a good chance for DeShane, but he missed the net. A turnover by Maple Grove. This one will come all the way down to Chapman. He'll slide it across to Curtis. Back in the front of the Rogers net. And cleared out to center. It's passed to Shane. Ronaldo is there. Always dangerous. Shot on that ropes to save. Well, we got a classic new versus the old here. The old veteran Maple Grove Crimson. It's the upstart Royals here. Royals trying to get their first trip to the state tournament. They certainly have the quality to do it, John. They've got a good, good hockey team that could contend at state. I believe both teams are in the top ten ratings yep. wise. Number four and number six coming in. Maple Grove, although seated lower in this tournament, ranked higher for what that's worth in the double A rankings. Here's Steenerson and Maple Grove into the Rogers zone. Sweep it off to the corner. Cleared back off the boards and out to center ice. Royals steam in on the right side with Eliasson. The play. Here's a look at those rankings, Dan. And Minnetonka, number one, playing Chan Hassan. He died at number two. They're in the tournament. Maple Grove, Andover, playing up at Duluth tonight. Rogers, Wyzetta, St. Thomas Academy, Duluth Easton, White Bear, Light. Rest of the top ten in Class 2A. I think they got it pretty good, though, John Wilson. They're playing in section finals. Ty Patefield, it's two on two here with Bush. Patefield trying to get it to Bush. Smith neck able to break that up for Rogers. Passes it to himself nicely. Now turns away from trouble and beats the pass back off. But comes to center and pushed back into the Maple Grove zone by Udy. The pass missed. Kind of must have gotten a piece of it. No icing here on Maple Grove. Walk up it comes to center. Shot into the Maple Grove zone. Kreckelberg on the board. Pass ahead. There's Brink. has got Kernan with him. Kernan after the puck trying to return it to Brink. Brink from the circle. And then reach on it and then eventually lost the puck. Here comes Rogers. Strook into the zone. Centering pass in front and that gets broken up. Trying to pass it out in front to Kreckelberg. Kernan rink wide pass. Here's Brink again. Poked off his stick there nicely by Dawson Jensen. Centering pass out in front. Somebody there for Maple Grove. Now a shot away, and that goes wide in the net. Off the stick of Leno. Or excuse me, of Margano. Cleared out by Rogers. Icing on the Royals. Big crowd on hand tonight in Elk River for the Section 5 AA final. And it's been a good one. Rogers. And Maple Grove, a four to two game. It did. I don't think you can get more people in here, Dan. <laughs> no, I was just going to say it's almost no, like more a, seats and a uh, sardine can standing a couple of deep along this uh, concourse in a great arena, new arena. What oh. third year of, up here in Elk River? It's a terrific venue to watch a hockey game and to call a game from. Oh, and even the camera work here from the angles we have in this rink, it's really excellent. 
shot away here. Roach making the save. And comes Maple Grove. Steenerson trying to feed it to Imgren at center. Maple Grove losing it. Rogers regains control back in their own end. Lyson up to center. That's picked off by Steenerson. And back into the Rogers zone. Where it's taken there by Curtis. Up onto the stick now to Shane. To Shane oh. to Ronaldo. Ronaldo walking right in. Puts oh, it in. Oh my God. Send that to ESPN. Wow, what a goal. Patience, timing, smarts, heads up. All made for a tremendous play by Sam Ronaldo. Wow. Look at the move here, comes back, and then he sticks it behind, takes his time, doesn't settle to just go behind the net and try to wrap it. That's a heads up hockey player right there, that's a beauty. Second tonight, 24th of the season for the senior. And now it's a one goal game again. And right now, he's, he's keeping him in the game, keeping this competitive. Rogers with their third goal of the period to pull back to within one with just over four minutes to go. Comes out to center, Cheslock playing it ahead. Slot got an assist on that goal. Game to the blue line, kept in by Rogers. And now Maple Grove with the takeaway. Here they come. It's Brink again in front for Ellingson. Oh. And a huge stop by Chapman. Rogers will Beautiful. turn it back the other way. Here come the Royals. Smith neck coming in one on three. Still with the puck. And then lost it back behind the net. Big check oh. as going down hard was Marganel. Rogers up through center ice in a big collision there as Kernan took a player out of the ice. And offside is Rogers. The little engine that could here and Bargano going to the bench thought he got cheap dratted yeah. Right. To look at the save by Chapman. Oh, wait, the elbow's well, coming up pretty high. Yeah. But it's a good check. Good check. Good check, no question. So we continue on. What a way to play hockey tonight. Final Ooh. play championship. Terrific end-to-end -end play tonight. And still a period plus to go. Three and minutes to go now in the second. One goal game. One goal game. Fighting hard to bring it out of the zone there was Swanson. And come back on the ice. And the Royals win the draw. From center, fired in, Roach the save. Comes on to Owen Smith's stick. Up to Kernan. And across to Ellingson. Puck loose there. Melquist took it. Can't quite get it out of the zone. And now Rogers has it. It's a three on two for the Royals. Left side, patiently waiting. And then it went off. A, Skate and back comes Maple Grove the other way. Two on two. Brink will carry wide. A backhanded in on Chapman. Pops back behind the Rogers net. A clear taken by Kernan. Kernan will turn. Fire. Shot. Save made. Rebound try. And Chapman able to cover up on that. A little more. How are you doing? This sort of thing after the whistle. Actually, probably wishing what could happen to them, actually. <laughs> Chapman did a nice job there, though, on that rebound and stuff. And, yeah, they, you know, these two teams are starting to not like each other a whole lot. They've played some very important games over the past couple of years. Two ten to play here in the period. 
four to three game. It was four one Maple Grove. Ooh. Shot away, Chapman the save and a quick shot off the face off. Yeah, right now, John, these goaltenders are really important right now. They've really got to step up to play. Chapman made a great save there. Hatefield wins a faceoff. Bush with another shot right off the faceoff, and Chapman again the stop. Take away from Maple Grove at center. Patefield with it again. Patefield gets brought down. Ronaldo's going to go off for a penalty here. I think Ronaldo thought he had his stick grabbed, and then Patefield went down, and some more pushing after the whistle. And Steenerson comes in to take Bush away. And you don't want a coincidental minor at this point. If you're Maple Grove, you'll take the power play that's coming. It's called use your IQ, use your brains now. Don't let the emotion get to you there. No, I don't think so. He got twisted as he was going down, and that locked the hook of the stick in, and as he went down and went with him. Ronaldo say, look at the look at the replay on the scoreboard. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> you got no call here, pal. Sorry. So he'll go off here for two minutes in Maple Grove. We had a power play goal back in the first period by Joey Imgren to get another opportunity here late in the second. Well, Rogers had a pretty good penalty kill throughout the year. So far tonight, they've been nipped once anyway. Now yeah, one for two on their penalty kill tonight against Maple Grove. They face off win for the Crimson. Brink and front shot away. Save. Brink will put it back out in front. Chapman gets a piece of that. Brink around the boards. Chased down at the right point by Margano. On to Bush's stick. Bush feed it back off. In front, oh, and a nice breakup defensively there for Melquist as they were trying to yes. feed Brink on the backside. Read it beautifully, actually stepped right in there. Right up the boards and out of the zone. Touched out there by uh, Loman. Well, a penalty kill here for the Rogers Royals would be almost as good as a goal right now. Bush will carry deep. Take a check, lost the puck. Ball on the boards, Maple Grove keeping it in the zone. Here comes Brink, drop pass off, Steenerson. He lost it, we're under a minute to go in the period. Bush with it, moves from side to side on the blue line. Off to the circle, Steenerson, right out in front. Kernan trying to feed it onto the stick there of Margano, but couldn't really get a stick uh, a shot on that. Slides it back across, right point. Back oh. to Luke Margano. The break, nice step around by Brink. Feeds it off, a shot by Bush, and he missed the net. And then cleared out by Rogers with 30 seconds to go in the period. Roach will slide it up onto the stick of Margano at center ice. The Kernan back to Margano. Right side. Steenerson trying to put it in front. That gets deflected up and out of play. Face off in the Rogers zone. I can see what Steenerson was trying to do it was a good idea, but might have been better just to sit back and set it up and then work the time a little bit better with possession. But they still got a face off inside the zone. Oh. Clean face off win. Get it onto the stick of Brink. Fires a shot. Chapman, a big save. Bush. Battling Swanson Fort, shot away. That one goes wide. Brink will get it back. Try to fire another one. That goes wide as this period comes to an end. Wow. Ooh, that was a period. That was a period. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go out and catch my breath and get a cold towel across my neck, man. It was, boy, really good hockey, John. That yeah, was outstanding. Rogers scores three times, Maple Grove twice, and the Crimson will take a one goal lead into the third period of the Section 5 AA Championship. Now, just 10 seconds left on their power play when we come back for the start of the third. We'll take a timeout here. Jay Wilcox will be back with us ringside. He'll talk with uh, Todd Berglund and more hockey action on CCX after this. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is now available on Roku and Apple TV. 
Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including daily newscasts and full sporting events. To find the app, go to the store and search CCX and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. Now available on Roku and Apple TV. Welcome back to the Section 5AA Boys Hockey Championship. We're in the second intermission in Maple Grove, now leading by one, four to three. Todd Berglund, the Crimson head coach, joins us. And heck of a hockey game here. Your team jumped out to that four to one lead. They chip away, but how are you feeling right now after two? Oh uh, yeah, I, I'm feeling really good how we're playing. We're playing the, playing hard on the puck and we're, we're attacking pucks. Uh, what we told them to do at the beginning and uh, you know, games like this, it's, it ebbs and flows. It's a, it's a momentum swing and, and, you know, two really good teams playing a good hockey game, which is fun to see. Yeah, you've played them twice during the regular season, so not a lot of secrets anymore at this point, I would say, for the teams, right? No, we uh, tell you, we've reviewed a lot of film and certainly know each other's tendencies. And then having seen uh, two games over at Fogarty, uh, we've gotten to see uh, a lot about what each other team does. So it's it's uh, we know each other well now. <laughs> it's been interesting. Your team got one first minute of the first period. They got one very early in the second. I mean, to start the third, is that a focus to be really ready for those first couple of shifts too? Yeah, I, you uh, you got to start the period strong. There's no question. You got to take every shift and go at it as hard as you can. And uh, that's what we're going to have to do for the next 17 minutes. There can't be any letdown. Todd, thanks for joining us. Best of luck in the third here. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate right. it. Todd Berglund, the Maple Grove head coach, his team now leading four to three after two here in this Section 5AA Boys Hockey Championship. More hockey to come and second period highlights as well here on CCX. We're in the second intermission here at Elk River. Section 5 AA Boys Hockey Championship game. Maple Grove leading Rogers by a score of 4-3 to three after two periods of play. We've talked about the high quality of players we have in this game. Three Mr. Hockey finalists, Dan, of the uh, 10 up for the award. Skating here tonight in Elk River as you look at the entire list. Brink. Cheslock and Ronaldo there on the right side, but a lot of good good hockey players on that list, as you would expect every year in Minnesota, right? Yeah, absolutely. It is the uh, foundation of high school hockey in the United States here. This is a mecca right here. Pretty good players, and every one of these guys is going to be a D1 player, and you know, going all over the place. We basically feed the collegiate uh, leagues, to be honest with you. Well, and then last night, we had two uh, yep. Frank Grimsick award winners, or uh, finalists, I should say, the, for goalie of the year yeah. at, at Maple Grove, that, uh, the Wyzetta Edina game. So a lot of good talent here uh, on display tonight. Well, you know, we look at the quality of the game last night, and not only was fast, but, man, they were, they were doing some nasty hitting. Today, the speed has been unbelievable in yes. this game, up and down, along with some hitting, but um, really good hockey all the way around. You know, coaches can't really be upset with the way these kids are playing. They're playing no. really well. Right. You know. I mentioned this is uh, one of five 2A finals going on tonight. Class 2A. Here's an updated score of the others. Lakeville South now up 3-1 to one through two periods on Lakeville North. Still no score. Minnetonka and Chanhassen now in the third period in the 2AA final. Andover looks like they're going to head back to state again. And have a chance to defend their championship up five to one after two on Duluth East and Moorhead up big. Looks like the Spuds will be at in St. Paul as well, beating <laughs> Rozo six to one. I mentioned Gentry Academy and Hill Murray coming up tomorrow, and 
Creighton, Durham Hall, and Edina punching their ticket to the double-A tournament last night. Every game, the Hornets and the Droach is just uh, that that one is a coin flip. You know, right. whichever one made it to state, uh, they're going to be in some contention. They were really, really good up and down. Uh, but I like the chances of the winner of this game. Well, we've got a good one here tonight in 5AA. Stars have come out to play. Finn Brink, a couple of goals from Maple Grove. Sam Ranallo with two Whoa. for Rogers. It's 4-3. The Crimson lead the Royals through two. More hockey from Alk River on CCX after this. CCX Media, your source for great local programming, is now available on Roku and Apple TV. Our free app allows you to stream all three of our channels live. You also have access to a large on-demand library, including daily newscasts and full sporting events. To find the app, go to the store and search CCX and download our free app. Then sit back and enjoy all of your favorite local content. Now available on Roku and Apple TV. From the Furniture and Things Community Event Center, we are back with more 5AA Boys Hockey on CCX. Second intermission, Rogers trailing Maple Grove 4-3, but it was 4-1 at one point. After one period, it was 2-0. That's where we pick it up here with highlights from the second period of play. And Rogers able to get one very early. And this was a big one, although they didn't end up falling behind again. Ah! By two more goals, and Sam Ronaldo got them on the board. You get that first one, right? And that's, right. that's a big one. Maple Grove comes back, though. Like Steenerson with a great feed to Lucas Bush that makes it a two-goal game again at 3-1. to one. And then Rogers give up another one. Ellingson to break it back. And Brink scoring his second of the night. And that made it 4-1 to one. with Maple Grove getting two in quick order. But then Rogers comes back at 7.45. They get the goal to make it 4-2. to two. And the goal from Mason Jensen and then Ronaldo with a beautiful goal at 12.38 to make it a 4-3 game. 23-21 now, Rogers still with a slight edge on shots on goal. Scoring chances evened up. And Maple Grove does have 10 seconds left in their power play coming up uh, at the start of the third period. Well, this would be a good time for Maple Grove to score. They got an opportunity. They got an extra man advantage even though only 10 seconds left. Still can give you an opportunity, but this one's going right down to the end, John. Period. It's been a great hockey game up and down. Both teams showing their skill levels. Three lines are playing uh, on, on both squads. Uh, maybe a little matchup's going to start going on with that Ronaldo line now, though. You know, last night I, I, from home, I watched uh, the 6 AA final that you and Jay did down in Bloomington. And uh, although it was a one goal game, it didn't have the flow of this game. It just, no. you know, no, you know, the pacing was uneven, lots of icings and offsides, and he just wasn't Chris Pocky. I mean, three died, they don't care. They're going to state, but it doesn't have the, quite the play that we've seen tonight, I don't think. No, not at all. I mean, that, I, I made the comment here about both these teams. If they get into state, there's a shot here yeah. with the way they play. They have not only physical size, speed, and great shooting, and good goal tip. Both of them. We'll take one more break. We'll come back. Third period on the way. 4-3, Maple Grove, Lake Rogers.
That's the first two periods in a nutshell. It has been terrific hockey tonight here in the 5AA Championship. Maple Grove on top of Rogers, 4-3. Sam Ronaldo, two goals, getting that third one for the Royals. Pull his team back to within one. Finn Brink, two goals on the other side for the Crimson. The stars need to shine, and they well. certainly have shined tonight so far. It's down to 17 minutes here. Again, Maple Grove with a power play for 10 seconds here. Ronaldo then will come out of the box. Here we go, underway here in the third period. One period of the state tournament. Kernan brings it in, shot on goal, and Chapman the save. I like that for Maple Grove, though. Get it in the zone, get it on net in a hurry because you don't have much penalty time left. And now they still will get a, a quick face off here, Dan, with yes. the extra skater out. Yes. It also takes the Rogers coach. He has to send Ronaldo straight out. He can't have him come over to the bench with the puck in his zone. Rogers able to clear it out, though. Now Ronaldo is back on the ice. This will slide all the way back to Roach. Vernon feeds it out to center and picked off there and fired back into the Maple Grove zone by Mason Jensen. Out it comes to center. It goes past, past Cheslock. Brink with it. Off to Ellingson in front. Had it poked off his stick and a good defensive play by Cheslock. Able to pick it off his stick. Fired back into the zone here by Stelgis. Shot away and Chapman making the save on Brink. Boy, just, you know, nice flow by the Crimson. Here's where experience is coming in, John. They come in knowing it's the last 17 minutes to determine state. And boy, they came out just moving with the puck. Just a great, great shift uh, for the Crimson to open up this period. Pate Field and Melquist on the faceoff. Bush takes his player out of play in the corner and then getting back up Eliason and out of, out of play. On the faceoff in the Rogers end. This is where Rogers got to keep winning these faceoffs in their D zone here. They fought off to a draw in this last one, but there they got the winner. Oop, oop. Pate Field. That went after it, put it in front, but nobody there for Maple Grove. And Rogers back out to center. Melquist carries in deep, feeds it off left circle shot, and that gets blocked. Cleared out of the zone by Maple Grove. Rogers regains control, miss on the long pass. Tipped down into the Crimson zone, though. Smith after it for Maple Grove, has it. Short pass, and now rink wide. Cross for Leno got past him. Then swept in by Maple Grove. Ernest getting after it. Ember in there too for Maple Grove. Kept in the zone by the Crimson by Carcos. Take away for Udi. Then he has passed. Gets broken up at the blue line by Margano. Well, Margano's played a really good game. John Leach will call his name quite a few times tonight. Curtis putting it in on net, save made by Roach, cleared, but not out. Kept in by Cheslock, beats it off, Curtis puts it on net, looking for the tip in front, and Roach stays with it and makes the save. Beautiful setup, had him screened good, and he still got his eyes on the puck and made a great save there. That's the kind of goaltending you need right now to get to state, right here. Oh. oh. Stays with the tip and makes the stop. Kernan and Deshane to face off here. One by Kernan, banked to the blue line. Taken by Maple Grove out of the zone. Ellingson, Brink stays on side. Ellingson sweeps in, a shot and a goal! Oh, excuse me, it's Kernan with the goal. Kernan scores, and it's five to three. Jack Kernan, who had the hat trick against Champlin Park, Brings it in on the left side and is able to beat Kate Chapman. Crimson up by two. That would be what you would call in boxing a haymaker. That was a heck of a play by Jack Kernan. He didn't take charge, gets it back to two of them. Look at this move in here. Just has enough on it just to flip it up over the goalie. Chapman and gives him a two-goal lead again. Kernan is 19th of the season.
And bigger than that one. Back to a two-goal lead for Maple Grove. Brought in by Curtis. And again, a lot of hockey to play, but we go back to what uh, Dave Brown told us before the game. We can't get down early. You can't be skating uphill, so to speak, yep. you know, right the rest of the way, and that's what Rogers has been doing. Got it back to within one twice, and now back down to two goals, and, but now we're in the third period. Maple Grove shooting it in on net, and almost covered by Chapman, but he releases it. And a long shot by Brink. Played out to center ice, poked back ahead. Steenerson trying to drag it past to Shane. And Rogers gives it up as Steenerson gets it back for the Crimson. To the blue line. Shot away, looking for a tip in front on the shot from Stelgis. Crimson are smelling the blood in the water, John. Rodgers, though, will skate it out. Here's Ronaldo. He's got two goals tonight. In over the line. Sweeps it to his left. It's too far in front of Mason Jensen. Crimson get it back. With a whistle. Oh, we're going to get a little disturbance behind the play. I believe Rodgers is going to have a power play here. Bush is going to go off for cross-checking. Mm-hmm. Big opportunity here for the Royals. They need to answer. They need to get the next goal. This is, this is going to get away from them. Oh, boy. And Rogers with a couple of power play goals already tonight. They need a third here. Ronaldo with the puck. Left circle shot. Saved by Roach. Loose puck in front. And then flipped out of play. Face off coming back in the Crimson Zone. Ooh. Had a chance after that deflection there. Face off win for Rogers. Cheslock lost it though. Now they've got to regroup back at center. Kernan right on it. Jack Kernan with that fifth goal for Maple Grove. Back up by two here in the third. Give away though by Rogers and cleared down the length of the ice. There's Margot Owen, then kind of Brink able to clear it down as Maple Grove gets a change in their lineup here. Shorthanded for another minute 15 seconds. Blazing in is Jensen on the left wing. Mason Jensen stops with it, feeds it back out. Ronaldo back to Jensen. Jensen moving in from the circle, spins away, feeds it back out. Ronaldo slide it across, right point. Cheslock fires a shot, Roach the save. Good setup here, good patience. The last time they rushed it, they came down, but this time they took the time, set it up, got a good shot off. Jack Curtin is 19th goal of the season. It's his team up five to three now, trying to give off the last minute or so of this power play. Nice poke away by Brink to get it out of the zone. Now he's got a chase for Rogers. Now up to the blue line into center ice. And played away and cleared away down the length of the ice by Kernan. Now comes Rogers with Cheslock. Feeds it off to Ronaldo left side. Now a tough angle puts it on that. Roach to stop. Swept back out to the blue line. Now back on to Deshane stick to Cheslock. Behind the net, maybe son of Krekelberg. Krekelberg, Cheslock, patient with it to Ronaldo. Under 15 seconds left in the power play. Ronaldo fires a shot, trying to pick the top corner and miss the net. Back out to the right point. Chip shot. Ooh. That one goes just wide of the net. Cleared ahead. Here's Brink. Over the line. Then Brink back as it poked off his stick. A good defensive play by Cheslock. Maple Grove is back at full strength. Bush back on the ice. Four checking here for the Crimson. Bott takes a check in the corner. Getting some ice time. Riley Bott, the wow. senior, number 12. Now it's Steenerson. 
Steiner should go back behind the net with the puck, able to carry it all the way through to the corner. Feeds it out to the slot. It's past Patefield. Taken by DeShane, but Maple Grove keeps it in the zone. Nice job there by Stell. Just puts it out in front. Bush looking for a loose puck, who didn't get it. Comes back out to center. Rogers clears it down. Roach will leave it for his defenseman. Out to center ice it comes. Rogers will play it back in their own end to Eliasson. Plays it back. Up to center ice to Steenerson. Swept back out to center, but right on the Patefield stick. He'll flip it in for Maple Grove. Maple Grove gets another shift. Now you're going to see short shifts by the Maple Grove Crimson New team. You'll see three guys coming back all the time now. Smith neck will drop it into the zone. We're under 10 minutes to go on the 5 AA final. Maple Grove leading 5 to 3, trying to get back to state for a fourth consecutive year. Rogers trying to get to state for the first time in school history. Pass ahead, left side to center to Strook. Lost it. Maple Grove controls. They pass it out to center. Here's Joey Leaflad. And Leaflad with a shot. Looking for a tip in front as he had Perko sliding through. The Royals got to get control of this puck, John. They're giving it up way too much here. Weiss with a shot. Save made. And Weiss took a hit into the boards. Maple Grove controls. They get it out to center. Imgren will just fire it in as Maple Grove makes a change. A bump at center ice as Weiss had the puck again. Back into the Royal zone. Rogers will regroup there. Cheslock, rink wide pass right onto the tape of Weiss. Built up and in on that as he goes off for a change. Swept to the corner, or to the boards rather. Ellingson ahead to Kernan. Kernan and Brink. Kernan and Brink with it. Now Brink will wait for the rest of his teammates to get back into the play. Comes back out the center ice. Delgis will shoot it in for Maple Grove. Pass comes to Ronaldo. Off his stick. Brought in on the left side by Jensen. Shot going back behind the net. Ronaldo giving chase. Goes down along the boards. Back out to the blue line. Kept in by Rogers. Pass to the circle. Looking for the mm. Ronaldo in front. He was tied up pretty well by Picanato. A good defensive play there by the senior. Tie up Ronaldo. Ronaldo goes down along the boards. And Maple Grove able to slide it out of the zone. They can get a change here. And meanwhile, that clock continues to tick, Dan. Now under eight minutes to go. Well, you see the strategy. Just get it out of the zone. Just get it out of the zone for the Crimson. Shot on net, and the glove saved by Roach. Oh, going to overtime. Minnetonka and Chanhassen in the two AA championship games. Number one versus number three in the state. Storm trying to get to state for the first time in school history. And half that community is probably in the arena. Right. <laughs> Rogers now got to do a little bit more control of the puck. Just don't be so flopsy mopsy with it and don't automatically give it up to the Crimson. Flopsy mopsy. I like that one. Thank you. Offside, Rogers will bring it into the zone. Shot away. Roach the save a rebound try. And Roach got a piece of it. Another try. That gets deflected in front and flipped out of the zone. A good play by Maple Grove to get it out of the zone without icing the puck there. Good play by Patefield. Smith neck will drop it back behind his net. Chapman has it taken away by Bush. Steenerson moving in for Maple Grove. And now Rogers will head back up ice. Stopping, holding, and then losing the puck back behind the net. Played by Smith, kept it at the blue line, walking in. Cheslock got turned around, though. Well defended by Maple Grove. Cheslock goes down. We got a penalty coming yep. up here Absolutely. on Maple Grove. You see Coach Berglund is a major league upset here, but you see a good, good shot. And a fine rebound shot off that as they really put some pressure on. But, you know, regardless, that stick got in the way. And, and we've seen John over the past few years when they got on the stick thing, that if that stick's not under control, it's going to be a penalty. 
So Rogers getting a golden opportunity here. Oh, he got two penalties. It's the double liner. Four minutes up on the board for Lucas Bush. Oh, Todd Berglund can't believe it. What? Hooking and the tripping. I didn't Boy, see. They, they, they had called the delayed penalty, and then yeah. the trip came at the very end of that uh, power play. Interesting. Wow. You usually don't see both called. You usually, when you, know, you get one called, no wonder he's upset. Call too, yeah. I, so, I get it. Well, here you go. This is your chance. If you're a Rogers Royals fan, right? You're down two goals, and you got a four-minute power play. We're under seven minutes to go in the game. We're now able to get around uh, Leno, put back out in front. High slot, Banks, and kept in control by Rogers. They can be patient here, Dan. Yes, they can. Got plenty of time. And now on left point, holds it. Pass across the ring and back to Cheslock. He'll fire a shot now and it goes wide of the net. And that came off a little bit off Moorings net for the whistle. Jack Roach taking a little breather coming out of his net, getting back in position. Hmm, see more head B. Rozo here, 8 1 in the 8 double eight championship. Congratulations to the Spuds. The state for them. Ronaldo trying to squeeze through oh. a couple of Crimson players. Couldn't do so. Now getting it back. Beats it back out. Cheshawk holds off to Ronaldo. Bounces off this stick. Shot away. Nice. Roach got a piece of it. Goes just wide. Cleared back around. Rodgers able to keep it in the zone. Cheshawk feeds it off right circle. Back out, Cheslock will tee it up. Roach with a big save. Rebound comes out to Mason Jensen. Play goes back behind the net. Finally controlled by Maple Grove, and they fire it down the length of the ice. 2.35 left in the double minor to Bush. 5.20 to go in the hockey game. Maple Grove nursing a two-goal lead. The power play continues here for the Royals. Smithnick will dump it around the boards. Comes first to Margano. Back behind the Crimson net. Margano. It's turned around and then fired down the length of the ice. As Brink empties it down to the Rogers end. Two minutes to go on the power play for Rogers. Under five to go on the hockey game. And I think that call fired up the Crimson. They are doing a whale of a job on this penalty kill, John. Back behind the net. Control it now. Feed it off to the circle to Melquist. To Gertis, back to Melquist. Side of the net, centering pass. Now comes out to Gertis in the circle. Shot away, missed the net. And it comes all the way outside the zone on his shot. Gives Maple Grove a chance to change their penalty kill unit. Pass across, that gets deflected enough. Not a clear shot, but it is controlled by Jensen. Jensen from the circle moves in to flex and up and out of play. Well, you can see the frustration starting to show there now with the Royals. It's getting down to four minutes left in the game, down by two. They're going to, they, they really need to get one on this power play, John. Maple Grove's killed off. More than half of that penalty already. The double, the penalties, I should say, the double minor. I don't think I've ever seen a double minor called that way. Not that way, right. Cleared out by Maple Grove and out of the zone it comes. Rogers comes back, Cheslock with the puck. Feeds it off on his left to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, nice oh. poke check by Kernan. They get it off his stick and Rogers has to reset at center. Brought in left side by DeShane. Back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo left point. Feeds it off. Cheslock. We're under four minutes to go in the game. From the circle and not getting much on it was DeShane. And the defenseman that got a piece of his stick and cleared down the length of the ice by Maple Grove. Down to 40 seconds left in the Rogers power play. Three and a half minutes to go in the game. Maple Grove trying to get back to state for a fourth straight time. Cheslock passing it up on the wing to DeShane. Lost the puck there. Picked off by Margano. Cleared it back out to center. 
Ronaldo left side for Rogers coming in as Kernan rides him from behind. Ronaldo gets himself free in the circle, feeds it off backside, trying to put it in front, and Rhodes with a big stop on Smith neck, and then the Crimson able to clear it out with 10 seconds left in the Bush double minor. Brock back in, his chest lock, Fry defeated for Ronaldo, and a good job by Picanato to stay just in front of him and keep Ronaldo out of the play. Bush back on the ice. Maple Grove back at full strength. 2.45 away from State. 5-3 to three, Crimson. Turnover for Rogers, but Maple Grove can't do anything with it. Back comes to Shane. Into the zone for Rogers. Lost the puck and played back out to center ice by Picanato. Taken there by Dawson Jensen. Missed on the pass. The Carson Melquist is icing on Rogers. Well, what I'm impressed with right now is the degree of coolness smarts and positioning by the maple grove defense they're really they know where to be they're they're taking it off roger's sticks they're not in really any trouble at all and you know with the way roach has played john i it's going to be a tough mountain to climb pate field and melquist on the face off rogers gets it out to center in comes Loman. Got loose and cleared by the Crimson to the blue line, but kept in there by Dawson Jensen. Fires it on that. Roach the same loose puck and then cleared away. Okay, it's picking out again. We've got a big play on it. Get it out to center. Steenerson will fire it in for Maple Grove. Elias in there for Rogers. Feeds it up. This is Struck bringing it in. Drags it through and then lost the puck. Puck still moves and then cleared up by Maple Grove. Pass goes ahead to Steenerson. Three on two. Ahead, empty net, and they bury it. It's the hat trick for Finbrink. And it's 6 3. And as a well known commentator would say, there's your dagger right there. I admire the Rogers play though to get that goalie out quicker than as they did. It was the only chance they had. They had a score too. Pretty big mountain to climb. Played a very, very good game here, John, but just not enough. The defense of Maple Grove played really well. You can see the disappointment on the Royals fans here, but Maple Grove showing some uh Class and well, what a player. We picked good key players tonight, didn't we? Did. <laughs> <laughs> We're now on break. Oh, we got it again. He looks kind of good with that red tint on, doesn't he? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> hey, the Badgers need some scoring help, man. <laughs> they need more than him, I'll tell you right now. It's been a bad season for Wisconsin. Now a six to three game Chapman back in net. Run there two minutes to go in the hockey game. Out to center Ronaldo and on the left wing. Jennerson out in front shot away and didn't get through Ronaldo. Another Ooh. shot looking for his own hat trick and didn't get all the way through. And net is empty again as they get the extra attacker on. 117 to go. They get a tie up along the boards. A little extra talking. I think if you're Maple Grove at this point, you just walk away. Yeah, you right? shut you, up and you, walk you away. You don't want to get a penalty that's going to disqualify you for the state quarterfinal round game. Yes, this is a perfect time to dump the, the Gatorade thing on the guy who's getting crazy. Kernan will go off, but he won't be alone, and it's not going to be a, a fighting penalty. It's going to be a he'll go off with Ronaldo here. Probably uh, roughing each of them. Well, the Crimson to punch their ticket to the state tournament to give it another run here. After being beaten in overtime in the state championship game last year, they're fulfilling their mission. Oh. Take away for Blake Steenerson. Empty net, and he scores! The senior with his 18th goal of the season. It's 7-3. Boy, he's big. 
That is a big hockey player. That was a nice play, too, Dan. Yeah. If, the, if the takeaway at the blue line, then does the rest himself. So Maple Grove getting two goals here in 36 seconds, both empty netters. Look at it again. That's the play by Steenerson at the blue line. Clear shot in on net, and he scores. Took his time, got his head up, made sure he put it on net. That's why I like him. He puts his shots on net. Down to a minute to go in the hockey game. Pass across Gavin Anderson. Getting to Andrew Leifblad and up in the zone. Maple Grove getting everybody in the game here. Actually both teams getting their fourth line guys in. Preston Moses the junior shooting it in to the Rogers end for the Crimson. Out of 30 seconds to play. Up to center ice. Picked off at center. Cheslock turning. Trying to drag it through. It can't. Bottle fire a long one in on that. Chapman makes the save. 15 seconds to go. Up deflected at center. Brought in on the left side by Imgren. Imgren. Playing it out in front for Joey Lee Flag. Final seconds ticking off. Maple Grove back to back to back to back into the state tournament again. Can you back that up, John? I had to make sure I could count to four. <laughs> I was amazed you did a great job with that. Congratulations well, we... to the, the Crimson, and they go on to the state. You know, one thing we didn't talk about, Dan, during the uh, the telecast is the Crimson lost a couple of guys late yes. in the season to injury and, and still able to, to play through it. Luke Giuliani mm -hmm. and Jacob Sinclair were both on the bench tonight and they're on the ice now in street goals, unable to, to play and they were valuable players and, and still part of this team but uh, they're able to overcome all that and they're back to the state tournament. Another good year. Take nothing away from Dave Brown's club, but uh, they come up on the short end here in, for the second straight year in the 5AA final. But we said constantly, what a good hockey game this yes. was. I mean, Rogers got nothing to hang their head on. They played a well of a game. Just that, you know, them breaks didn't go their way. And, uh, but they played a well of a game. They've had a great season so far. And uh, sorry it had to come to an end, but... Uh, they, they put up a whale of a fight here, and uh, congratulations to the Crimson. Going back to the state tournament again. Jay Wilcox standing by with a very happy Finn Brink. Thanks, John, and wow, what a night. Finn Brink getting the hat trick. You guys come up with a big 7-3 win. How special was tonight? Oh, it was incredible. It's everything we ever dreamed of. These guys came together when it counted, and I'm, I couldn't be more proud of this group. I love each and every one of them, and I can't wait to move forward with this team. It's going to be fun. How was it to set the tone right away to get a goal in the first minute? Oh, it was incredible, but, you know, you kind of got to check yourself a little bit because there's a lot of game left, but that was incredible. Um, about loud building, that was awesome. They came back to within 4-3, but you guys never panicked, it looked like. Were you proud of the group for that? Oh, yeah, super proud. Um, that's a team that's come back over and over again this year, and they did it just the other night, so um, we knew we had to uh, meet them because they knew they were going to bring it, but couldn't be more proud of these guys, and I love them. It's become an annual trip to St. Paul now for the Crimson. How, how much fun is it going to be? It's going to be a ton of fun. Um, it's everything we ever dreamed of. Thanks so much, Finn. Congratulations. Thank Have fun so in St. Paul. Back to you for a moment, John. We'll get some more Crimson in a moment. Thank you very much, Jay. And then the players uh, with the handshakes. And boy, it's, uh, I, I say yeah. this every sport, how tough it is to watch the, the losing players, and especially you know, in a playoff game like that is it. You have played so hard. You've played all your high school hockey career. Even if you're playing more hockey, like you know, a Chase Cheslock is going to do, and Sam Ronaldo, you play that last game with your high school buddies. There it, it is. is tough. There it tough. is. You're playing with your buddies that you've played since you were five years old, and to know that it's it's over, it ends abruptly, and then everybody wants to go, you know, sudden win now. But no, it's. Sudden death. Yeah. Shot Jack Roach there a moment ago, and uh, although he gave up three goals, he certainly came up with some huge stops tonight to keep his team in the lead. 
Especially in that first period, boy. Yeah. I'll tell you what. The, and then second period, they came out firing, and he, and he put a stifle to it, too. So, um, But it's a complete team. I mean, they're good from the pipes out. And, John, they got a shot at this thing. We're going to go back to Jay on the ice now. Thanks, John. Luke Margano, how much are you loving tonight and just this great atmosphere here in the arena and to come out with a great win? Yeah, I'm pumped. You know, all the fans out here, you know, we're back at the X, baby, and that's what we wanted from last year, so we're pumped to be there again. This has become a great rivalry as both teams have really gotten to the top of the state uh, hockey level. Yeah. How, how fun is it to beat Rogers? I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> it's awesome. You know, the 5-2 loss during the season, that stunk, but, you know, I think that motivated us to we won in this one, right? And this is our section, and we don't lose this one. Four years in a row in the state tournament. What does it say about the whole Crimson program? Everything, you know. We got we got the best of the best, right? We're going to keep going. We're not losing it this year. Thanks so much. Good luck in the state tournament. Thank you. Number 16, Carson Melquist. Great game for him tonight. I thought that the defense played pretty well, Dan. Gave me some good plays, and even though obviously they gave up the, a couple of goals to Ronaldo and gave up a three goals altogether, made some good defensive plays too on a, a know, very good Rogers offensive some, team. Some good defensive squads that have had trouble with Ronaldo. He is yeah. just a heck of a player. And but we commented on how solid the Maple Grove defense was. But I thought the comment was interesting by Margin. I said, "We ain't getting beat this time. They're going back <laughs> with a mission." I think they had this in the front of their mind the first day they had captains practice that this is where they wanted to be. Now they really want to prove something. Rogers players coming out and uh, getting their medals. Jason Paris, the Rogers principal, giving out the medals to his uh, his students, his players. And Ronaldo. that's a heck of a hockey player right yeah, there, John. No Parker DeShane didn't get a goal tonight. Had a couple goals the other night to get this team here to that semifinal win. Oh, look at Coach. Goes to his top player, and he does his best to comfort him. And I know it's a major disappointment for them, but, boy, this was some hockey tonight. Boy, I, I was impressed with both teams. Terrific game. Well, we have a moment with the, the players getting their medals. Again, we want to thank the, uh, the booster clubs from the hockey booster clubs from Maple Grove and, and Rogers for helping us with the fee for the uh, 5AA of the live fee. Thanks to to Ray Kirch and Dan Roth and the, the 5AA people, all the great people here at uh, Elk River Ice Arena for being so oh. accommodating. And uh, they know how to, to treat people here like humans. We don't get that everywhere. Most yeah. places, but not every place. Yeah, well, they were especially kind and yeah, gracious great. here. And uh, we'll, they got we'll come back next year, Dan. Okay. And years to come, okay? Well, this facility? This oh, boy. Great arena. Oh, man. Rogers with the loss finishes. The season with an 18-7-3 record. Maple Grove, their 22nd win of the year. 22-5-1. You heard, uh, well, it was, it was not on air be, before the game. Uh, Todd Berglund saying, we want to get to game 31 this year, which means you got to play three times, and we want to win it this time. We're going to get to that championship and win it. This year, it'll be interesting to see how the the seeding goes for the tournament. I, uh, Maple Grove certainly will be seeded. Now, where they'll fall, uh, it's hard to say. But frankly, I don't think they care. You're going to have to beat the best to get to be the best. So, and they're happy to get back. Minnetonka and Chanas in the one and three teams in the final rankings going to a second overtime. Dan in the two double A final. A great night for uh, Cade Chapman, played in two of these section finals in a row. The goalie, you see him in the yeah. foreground there. And with Jack Roach and Chapman really had a good season. And a disappointing, I know, end for him to not be able to, to get to at least one state tournament in his career here at uh, Rogers. You know, coming from Wisconsin, be that good or bad, whatever. To sit here and come to this state and watch community hockey as it's played in this state is unbelievable. You know, these kids have been playing together since they were five years old, and here they are. You know, what? that's a statement to Minnesota hockey as far as I'm concerned. I think that's absolutely fabulous, and there's nothing like it in the United States. And folks, enjoy, because this is special. State AA tournament starts next Thursday at the XL Energy Center. First game at 11 o'clock. Second game, 30 minutes following, and then the evening session starting at 6 p.m. on Thursday, double-A finals. 
the semifinals rather, uh, next Friday night, the 10th, and the championship game Saturday night, all at XL Energy Center. And it is always a tough ticket to get for the 2A tournament. John, do me a favor. Don't call me next Thursday, right. Friday, <laughs> Saturday. Don't call me. I will not be available. We got some section basketball next week that we're going to be covering, and happy to do that. But I'll be missing some of the hockey. You see the Crimson, or excuse me, the Royals getting their uh, section runner-up trophy. San Bernardo and Chase Cheslock. And now Maple Grove High School will get their medals and trophies. Let's turn it over now to the public address system for the awards. Number 15, Assistant Captain Jack Kernan, Sr. <laughs> Senior right wing, number 16, Jay Ellingson. <laughs> number 21, Lucas Bush. Number three, Ty Pinkfield. <laughs> Senior number 18, Assistant Captain Blake Steenerson. <laughs> number 37, Joey Ingram. their championship trophy has skated over to their fans and they're back to the state tournament again and it never gets old even if you've been there before for these kids and for the the Jack Kernan the Finn brings all these seniors this is their last go around this is their last section final they still have another week to play 
but it's coming to the end, and it's it's a great thrill, thrill for them. Uh, like I said, they want to play 31 games, and and as seniors to really finish it out. And boy, they deserve it. They work hard. Talking to Todd Berglund before the season started, he kind of had a twinkle in his eye when I asked, "Did they remember last year?" And he kind of went, gave me the look like, "You damn right we did, by gosh!" And here they are. They get us another shot at it. They'll get the uh, Here we go. trophy shot. <laughs> well, it went to state last year. They were runner up state last year. Runner up a year ago in football, won football this year, and now this Crimson team will try to join them in a week and be uh, state champions. And the fans behind them. And a cool moment for, for Maple Grove Athletics. Boy, I, did. I thought about that before this game started about the state football championship, and now maybe it's hockey's turn. They've been on the edge, they've been on the cusp. They're going to get one, get another run here. Chase down on the rink. We're going to hear from uh, a couple more Crimson players here before we are done and sign off for the night. This is our last telecast of the year. Dan, uh, Channel 45 takes over the broadcast for the state tournament. They do a, a great job, but yes, this is do. us, and uh, what a way to go out. Well, it was, there was a better a better game than the 7-3 score would indicate, obviously. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. We commented that about that throughout the game. The good speed, good play here. Back we go. Jay Wilcox on the ice. Thanks, John. Jack Kernan, another of the guys who got it done tonight, getting that key goal in the third period when they had closed the gap. Uh, how important was that goal, do you feel like? Huge. It got us It got us comfortable in that period. We were able to just go balls to the wall, guns to the wall, back to our usual four check. It was a huge momentum switch for us because they came in off a PK they just had and two goals in the second, took some wind out of us. It was huge to get us back in the game with that goal. Great atmosphere again here tonight. Uh, how special is it to just to get a chance to play in front of so many passionate hockey fans? Yeah, it's awesome. There's no other place like it. I mean, you dream about doing this when you're a kid, playing in front of thousands of fans screaming every time you get a goal every time something happens it's awesome fourth year in a row for the crimson going to state but it's never easy i mean each time is special right yeah roger i mean roger's a great team you got to hand it them top five battle i believe it's it's fun to it's fun to earn it it's fun to beat a good team to go there you guys had a great run last year and just fell just short in that championship game is that kind of motivated everybody this year to kind of get that next step yeah that's always been in the back of our mind we started training from that from day one. We're like, that's never going to happen to us again. We're never going to feel that again. We're there to win it all this year. Jack, great job here tonight. Have fun in St. Paul. Thank you very much. All right, one of the uh, alternate captains, Jack Kernan, here for the Crimson, celebrating their 7-3 win. Thanks, Jay, and my apologies again to Jack Kernan for misidentifying him <laughs> on his goal, his moment of glory. I, I corrected myself, but I feel bad about that and Kernan getting that crucial goal, Dan. That really was a big one early in the third one after Rogers had pulled within 4-3 to three to get that one to make it 5-3, give Rogers or Maple Grove breathing room. They're able to kill off that double minor late in the game, then they get the two empty netters in the last uh, minute. Uh, or so of the game. It's much easier playing without gripping your right. stick too tight. The two goal lead will let it be a little looser. But the thing is, is that the Crimson made the plays when they had to make the plays. And that's why they're going to state. We got one more interview. Back to the ice we go. Jay with Coach uh, Todd Berglund. Berge. Hold on just a moment. See the Crimson fans uh, right on the ice talking with their teammates, celebrating with them. And I know those guys appreciate, too, when they, you get the students to come out and support you and, and the whole community. All right, now Jay's ready with Berge. Sorry, John, a little mic issue there. Todd Berglund, uh, each time you go, it's something different, a different year. How, how special was tonight for you? Uh, it, you know, it, it never gets old, I'll tell you that much. I, I couldn't be more proud of these guys, of how they battled through so much adversity, injuries, and, and play, uh, you know, player stuff all year. And it it just, uh, it, I, I couldn't be more proud of a bunch of kids and these Crimson hockey players. And hats off to Rogers. What a, what a wonderful program. And uh, they, uh, you know, we've had two years of tremendous battles and, and we know they're not gonna go away. So hats off to that program. You know, they're very, I can be very proud of what they've accomplished, but. I couldn't be happier. 
you look at the final score and people might say, well, it was easy, 7-3, but obviously the game wasn't really like that at all. Uh, the game wasn't easy at all. I tell you, when we got the double minor, I was like, oh, my goodness, what, what else is going to happen? And it's a one-goal game, and you got, uh, uh, you know, Rogers, who's just been hot on the power play, and uh, Ronaldo and Cheslock just uh, went, were lighting it up. So hats off to our penalty killers for for killing four minutes of penalties. And then, you know, then we get the goal when fin Finney Brink uh, gets that goal. I didn't even realize they had the net, the net empty, and I was just so surprised to see that goal. And uh, but. Uh, I'll tell you, it was the goofiest game, uh, but uh, cer certainly fun to be on the other side. Yep. Heading back into state, what's kind of the outlook? What What's the key thing for you guys to do to stack up a few more wins? Well, we, you know, we we've set our mark on the on the rock this year that we we have unfinished business. Uh, last year, getting into that uh, final game and losing to Andover sticks a lot in these guys' mind and. And, you know, we got our puck wall. We got three more pucks to stick on that thing, and we're going to work hard to get there. Congratulations on the win here, and uh, have fun in St. Uh, Paul. We're going to enjoy it. Thank you so much. Appreciate all you do. All right, Todd Berglund, winning coach for the Maple Grove Crimson as they return to the XL Center. Back up to you, John and Dan, for some final thoughts here after this great section final. Thanks very much, Jay. Thanks for all your work down uh, interviewing the coaches and the players after the game and uh, well said you get, we have more work to do right that was the, the message the theme we picked up after the game that will do it for our telecast tonight thanks to our great crew tonight up here at uh, elk river and yes. all the people here and uh, a fun crowd and a fun hockey game and maple grove back to the state tournament for a four straight year so for a final time for dan ficken and jay wilcox and everybody on our crew i'm john jacobson maple grove wins the 5 AA final again, 7-3 over Rogers, the final. Good night from Elk River.